Hello, family and friends. This day has been a long time coming, but the timing couldn't have been better, having all of you here with us in the Caribbean. Uh, the one mission today is to put all your love and energy towards these two beautiful souls. That's gonna guide them through the rest of their life, okay? So some of you may or may not know the story of how Brian and Karen met. So I'm gonna tell it again regardless. Our story begins 10 years ago in a land far, far away. This is on. <laughs> on your mark, get set, go! Your daddy worked in an office and spent most of his days hunched over a computer. Then one day he answered his last email, sold everything he owned, and bought a sailboat. Your uncle joined your daddy in Mexico, and together, they sailed across the biggest ocean in the world. Then one day, your daddy met your mommy, and boy, did they fall in love. They sailed all over the world together. And one day, they decided to start a family. And that's where our story picks up. Two days before the wedding and our mom and dad Brian and I's mom and dad flies in today with their significant others so we have four parents we're gonna go and they came on the f same flight from Miami so <laughs> hope that went well I hope they got to sit together <laughs> no, what like, was Papa Dallas's response when you told him you're getting married <laughs> he said it's about damn time <laughs> he's past that sit in my lap stage which is nice so you're safe there I don't know, I got a pretty good ass slap last time I saw him. Did you? Okay, well maybe maybe it's just gone to the ass crap. And then he now. apologized the next day because I think Donna made it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's, he's just a, a guy loving life. That's it, just enjoying his time. And how would you describe your mom in that sense? Always happy. Always happy, for sure. Yeah, I see my papa in there. I, feel, I still feel a bit rough from the bachelor party. Uh, we don't have many people around, so Brian's bachelor party will consist of me, Brian, Casey, and Ragnar. Getting weird. <laughs> uh, I think one beer per hundred meters. That's the that's the plan, nonetheless. And how far? How many meters do we have to go? Four thousand. <laughs> we brought a bunch of empties. Oh, it's a rum sour punch <laughs> thingy. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> That's exactly what happens when you have a bashing party in the middle of the Caribbean. Okay. All right, you guys ready for your next shot? No. Yeah. So we found an obstacle course, but it's closed. And apparently, uh, we're not supposed to be here, but security's gonna come and get us. So we're gonna try and do as many obstacles as possible before security comes. If anybody asks, tell them we're from Sandals. Yeah, it worked. Two, get, on, get on the go, red, Brady. Go, really, Brady. Woo! Go, go, Brian. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls' bachelorette party was in full swing. So we've come back to the boat, and we have Rosie and I don't know how Marcia. to say it. Marcia. Mar Hi. Marcia. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and yes. we are gonna do some manicures and pedicures now, oh, and yeah. chill yes, yes, and wow, ooh la la. <laughs> exactly. What do you think is gonna be the difference between what we do and what the boys do? <laughs> Theirs is probably gonna involve a lot more alcohol. Easy. <laughs> what happened, bro? Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I didn't know how bad it was. We just spent the past 
two hours in a strip club. <laughs> and then Casey fell straight out of the taxi, right into a cactus. Yeah. The body's a little hurt. Looking sharp, brother. Thanks, dude. <laughs> he looks like he, got a, he just got out of a cruise ship. This guy. Shell necklace. Yeah, yeah, that's for the bride. She, yeah, she's I'm gonna she's lay it baby. on her. Yeah. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, how are Hi. you? Hi, I'm Romeo. Romeo. Nice meeting you. Hey, nice to meet you. Welcome this, to Antigua. That's my beautiful wife. Oh. Hello. This is our mom, Jordan. Hi. I'm Jordan. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Brian and Carrie sitting up in the mast. Under the stars, talking about the past, the places they've been, the food they ate, the people they met along the way. Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. We're trying to make some chicken. Which is oh, really God. what's going on here. Right? Oh. <laughs> just stupid adapters that don't fit into anything. So I'm just cutting this edge off so that it'll fit. That's my question. I, the hardest chiller is back there. You look like you're relaxing the most. Is it working, Brian? Yes, it's working. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so a little family get together. Why would you do that? Thanks everybody for coming, but the main reason why we're making this very official announcement <laughs> this Hi. afternoon is that <laughs> Delos is about to have one more permanent crew member. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I told my friends that we were yeah. 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 I told you, didn't There's I? There's a little Delos bun in the oven oh, there. I knew it. I've been telling him I for a while. I saw you were fat. <laughs> we, you have to go on the record with your prediction of the gender of the baby. Oh, of course. <laughs> Am I going now? Yep. Okay. I knew it. I knew the baby was. I knew it was going to be a baby. I knew they were going <laughs> to. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. But I knew it before they told me. And do you think sure. it's going to be a boy or a girl? I think it's going to be a boy. What do you think, Romeo? Boy or girl? I knew it. She was expecting. <laughs> so, I think it's gonna be a boy. We have to wait and see what happens in that little situation over there. Did you ask uh, Amigo over there? Yeah. <laughs> what did he say? It's a boy. That's <laughs> what so runs in it, Sam. Boy, boy. Boys, boys, boys. boys. Look at these two. Gotta, gotta make my boy look good. Getting my hair did. You look schnazzy, Brad. Look at my white wedding suit. Damn. You look real good. Got some kind of gel cream in my hair. Yeah. What's that stuff called? That's yeah. that wax. Really Messy look. That's like normal. <laughs> All I have to do is not shower and wash my hair and I'm already there. Uh, and get the best haircut. Oh yeah. I got Blue's Barbershop special going on. <laughs> Great, you got a Blue's Barbershop this morning. I did. He's looking sharp. Dude, just, like ready? A, just like a server Bahama Breeze. <laughs> That's exactly what That's I look like. So Hi, my name's oh, Chet. Would you guys like strawberry daiquiris today? <laughs> Are you feeling it now? Yeah, I'm good. Let's let's do this. All right, sweet. I'm ready, ready, ready. I have a feeling Kaz is gonna look very pretty. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready, Senor? <sighs> I get. I have to be. There's no question. Right. I don't know how this happened. Just put them on. Ready. <laughs> Do you see the two flags at the top? Yes. <laughs> what are so the chances of that? So I need to stand on starboard then. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe we should switch it up. <laughs> I'm surprised that I managed to get this thing through two islands of sailing and walk into a hotel room and back without getting it dirty. <gasps> that was my biggest concern of the day. How do you break? I even rolled up my cuffs now. Look at you. Which I can unroll later if that's appropriate. I don't really know. Yeah. Once the ceremony's over, you can trash that thing. Maybe we should turn the windlass off, just in case. That could be a good idea. Could you imagine? Yeah. Um, Karen just called and she is ready. <laughs> How does it feel, Karen? It's really good. 
We're gonna go put the last finishing touches on our decorations and go pick her up. Can't start crying already. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Hello family and friends. This day has been a long time coming, but the timing couldn't have been better having all of you here with us in the Caribbean. The one mission today is to put all your love and energy towards these two beautiful souls. That's gonna guide them through the rest of their life. Okay? So some of you may or may not know the story of how Brian and Karen met. So I'm gonna tell it again regardless. It was a windy ra rainy night in Auckland, New Zealand in December of 2010. Delos was tied up to a dock outside the city, but Brian and I were living on a different boat. Brian and I were living on a beautiful 50-something foot Nordhaven, the owners of which were at their ski house in Tahoe. This thing was nothing like Delos. She was a big, shiny, white power yacht, three stories of living space, a full marble top kitchen, a flat screen TV that went up and down inside the cabinets, unlimited air conditioning, and unlimited hot showers. At this time, Brian and I had ran dry of money, and were trying to make ends meet to save enough to go sailing again. Brian was writing code, and I got a pretty sweet gig, rolling burritos and making salsa. But more importantly, it introduced me to some people who made this story what it is. So on this rainy, dark, stormy night in New Zealand, Brian and I were sitting on board this power yacht, probably watching Flight of the Concords and drinking beer. Then the phone rang. Hello? Brady, what are you doing? Uh, you gotta come into work right now. No, it's my night off, I'm not coming in. You have to come in right now. Three Scandinavian girls just walked in. <laughs> and we're giving them free margaritas and free nachos. Okay, I'll be right there. Brian decided to stay behind and hold the fort down. So I put on my rain jacket, hopped on my borrowed bike and pedaled up to work through the gnarly wind and rain. Inside, sure enough, there were three Swedish girls sitting in the corner, blonde and eating nachos and a table full of margaritas. <laughs> I walked over and said something, I don't know what I said, something really immature like, do you live around here or <laughs> something like that. Whatever I said, maybe it worked. It was probably the margaritas that worked, but we made plans shortly after to meet up at a close by bar. I went back and told Brian of the incredible news and the luck that we have. At the bar, it took us a bit, but we were finally able to convince the girls we weren't sketchy drug dealers living on our yacht with pictures of other people's kids on board. <laughs> we were in fact just some salty sailors with some pretty big dreams and a lot of luck. We had no idea that that night, Karen would become such a huge part of those dreams. We had no idea that this was the first night of the rest of Brian and Karen's life. The next day, Brian asked Karen to go sailing for the weekend. That weekend turned into Karen canceling her flights back home to a very worried mother, <laughs> which turned into Karen coming to visit us in Fiji a few months later, and then to the Solomon Islands about four months later. I can't imagine what it must have been like for Karen back then, coming to visit a bunch of smelly poor sailors on this rowdy sailboat in the middle of the most remote, remote parts of the South Pacific. Karen was usually sent a wish list of things to bring us before she flew out from Australia. Magazines, rum, tobacco, boat parts, party balloons, glow sticks, inflatable toys, and who knows what else. She showed up to a couple of long-haired bearded men smelling of rum and fish. At this point, we'd been living with no laundry, fresh food, or showers for what seemed like months, and she did it all with a smile. This is where I knew they had something very serious. For the next year or so, Brian and Karen seemed to always find a way to spend time together. Between Karen finishing college in Australia and Delos running out of money again, we all decided to move to Melbourne and have a life on land in a place where we had a few friends and connections. Here, Brian and Karen were able, were able to grow even more as a couple while we all saved money for the next adventure. What happened next was only a natural progression of things. Karen finishing her degree and immediately deciding to join Delos full time. Seven years later, their love has brought us all here together today. You two are both very different souls who complement each other so well. I've seen your love succeed from being apart for long periods of time 
to living together all day, every day. Crossing oceans together, starting a business together, and now you will start the greatest adventure yet by starting a family together. How are you feeling? <laughs> Crazy. It's like real in a completely different way when you see it like that. Yeah. I'm proud of you and so excited to see this next chapter of your life begin. So, in the meantime, it does feel like things are going very fast. Time is always moving faster than we like. So let's just take a minute to relax and enjoy this moment. Close your eyes, hold the hand of someone you love, listen to the wind, feel the, feel the waves, listen to the water, and soak up the good vibes and just take some breaths. Brian, you are the love of my life. We have sailed across two oceans, visited 34 countries, lived, worked and grown together for the last eight years. You have shown me a world that I didn't even know existed. I love that we can lift each other's strength, support each other's weaknesses. I love that we can sit silent together for hours, just the two of us. That you can help me with my math. <laughs> and that I always know where you put your stuff. <laughs> when, things get, when things get tough, you are the one I turn to for strength. And when I'm filled with joy, you are the one I want to share those moments with. Brian, I want to go old with you. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> They're allowed to do whatever they want. <laughs> okay, now my vows. My dearest Swedish princess, I actually have no idea what one is supposed to put into wedding vows. Google search fails me as the internet isn't working. No big surprise there, but that's probably for the best. Who the hell needs the opinion of others for such a thing? So I, so I decided to think back about just a few of the incredible times we spent together. Just a few of my fondest, most cherished memories, and just speak from the heart. I remember the first night we met at an unplanned party on somebody else's boat. I brushed the tears from your cheek and told you of my troubles. We consoled each other with stories of others that had wronged us, and shared laughs about their insane ways. We started our relationship based on pure and raw honesty, and so I promise to always, always be honest with you. Dancing out of the stars, I asked you what you thought the purpose of life was. A pretty deep question for a second date, right? And what was your reply? Without hesitation, you said, well, that's easy, to have a good, happy life, to enjoy it as much as possible, and share that joy with those around you. It was an unexpected reply, so simple but yet so true. It struck a chord with me, and I remember it clearly to this day. And so I promise to search for the light in the darkness, to highlight our joy rather than our sorrow, and to boost you up when you're feeling down. One night in the middle of the ocean, we were hit by a crazy squall. The sailing conditions had gone from beautiful to terrifying in the blink of an eye. Delos was being thrown about like a toy boat, the wind was whipping through a rigging and the waves were smashing on her hull. I ran into the cockpit half asleep, not sure exactly what I'd find. And there I found you leisurely listening to one of your podcasts with all hell breaking loose in the ocean around us. Are you okay, Karen? Um, yeah, was your reply. Run our third reef and holding course well. Everything's cool. What's your deal? <laughs> I was so amazed at how much you learned and how quickly you'd done it. And so I promised to never overlook what a capable and amazing person you are. But perhaps most importantly of all, I promise for all my days to be your human lactose detector. No <laughs> butter or cream is going to slip by on my watch. <laughs> okay. So like I said, when Brian and I first met Karen, we were just a couple of salty sailors. And now I can truly say Karen is probably the saltiest of all of us. <laughs> So it seems only appropriate to do a little knot tying ceremony. Today, Brian and Karen's love will be symbolized by the tying of a sailor's knot, a true lover's knot, for it's the strongest knot there is. These two lines represent each of you as individuals as the unique and special gifts that you bring to your marriage. 
As you tie these lines together, this represents the joining of your two lives into one common purpose. This completed knot represents your future, and as life brings changes, the knot will only go stronger. Perfect. The spaces between these lines formed by the knot leave space for your new life to grow together, for you two to encourage and nurture the individual growth of one another. Pull on the knot hard. You see how it won't, it won't come loose. Now you have something to put on your wall later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to make this thing official? Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, Brian and Karen, please join hands. Look at one another now and remember this moment forever. Brian, repeat after me. Karen, I take you as you are. Karen, I take you as you are. Loving who you are now and who you will become. Loving who you are now and who you will become. I promise from this day forward to be grateful for our love and our life. To be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection. To be patient with you and with myself. To fill our life with adventure, sailing, and whatever the horizon brings. Brian. Do you take Karen to be your wife and co-captain for as long as you both shall live? I do. Karen, do you take Brian to be your husband and co-captain for as long as you both shall live? I do. Ooh! Ragnar, can you please present the rings? Your wedding ring is a symbol of the ocean and its never-ending cycles of love and good energy. The weather may change and get bumpy at times, but there will always be a sunny downwind sail ahead of you. Let these rings be a reminder of that. Brian, as you place this ring on Karen's finger, repeat these words after me. This ring symbolizes my love for you. This ring symbolizes my love for you. And the commitments we made here today. And the commitments we made here today. Brian and Karen, you have come here on this beautiful day in Antigua in the presence of family and friends. You have declared your love and commitment to each other, and you have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. And so, by the power vested in me, by the mighty Neptune of the great seas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your Swedish princess. Yes! Woo! Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, brother. We love you, man. Love you too. Group hug. Thank you so much. You know so gonna hang out here at Shirley Heights. We're about one hour early before everything opens. <laughs> Water <a> bomb. <laughs> it's a really cool spot, like high up on one of the mountains. So you see all the boats and everything, and then they have barbecue, really good ribs, and cheap drinks, steel band, awesome. Thanks for coming, Ma. You're welcome, honey. So this is the first time you've ever been able to come out and visit us somewhere yeah. while we've been sailing around. First what's, time. What's the experience been like so far? Wonderful. I, think I went on the Delos one time, years and years and years ago, and it seemed like this is better than ever. How about getting in, in and out of the dinghy and the boat? Has it been okay and stuff? It's been fine. I, I needed a little help, yeah. you know, to get the, the feel of it, but it's good. Dad. Brady. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool being able to show you guys all the stuff that is so normal for us. Like, we're gonna go sailing tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited for that? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. I want a little lean action. You'll get some. You gotta yeah. get on that lean. I wanna be on the lean. I wanna see the, uh, all the sails unfurl, and I wanna see the breeze taking Dallas to a new hike. Taking down the chapel up here. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take the Fam Damley for a sail. Are you excited to go sailing today? Uh, yeah, I haven't been on the boat sailing for nine yeah. years, so Ooh, it's been a long time. Can't wait for the wind to be blowing in my face. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. Have you been sailing on Delos before? Yes, we have. You have? Brian just said you haven't. In haven't. Seattle, it was a small sail, but still a sail. <laughs> Not like today. Looking forward to today. Brian said he wants to bash up wind for a little bit, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I think, uh, do you get seasick at all? No. No. Fibber yeah. McGee, Fibber McGee. 
<laughs> he had to take a bromide or whatever you call those uh, Dramamine or something. Just to be safe. All right, all clear. Yeah. You ready to learn the ropes? The ropes. The literal, the literally learn the ropes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this one. This one. Goes into the, the crank. Mast and into the mast, and it unfurls the sail. Right. This one is the one that pulls the sail out. Okay. So you have to unfurl and. At the same time. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Daddy, the sailor man. I see you found the best seat in the house. I did, but I'm waiting for the dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Have you sailed before, Ella? I'm uh, not on a sail such big boat, only on, uh, on the ice. I don't know the name, English name for oh, when cool. you sail on the ice. Sailing I mean, on ice? Yes, in a peace yacht. <laughs> so I'm very, I'm very excited. Nice. All right, let's get you on this. Hey. So, Ella? When när du är färdig, när du har dragit, när du inte kan dra nå mer, ja. så ska du låsa den här. Och då är det jätteviktigt att du inte stoppar fingrar liksom emellan. Ja, just det. Ja. Så att när du låser av den, ja. då sätter du den där i, ja. och sen så, och sen drar du åt. Ja. Och sen ska vi visa dig hur du gör med den här. Mm. <laughs> Men när du inte kan dra nå mer så genom där och sen så tjock. Mm. Och så ska du göra antingen del är lite lättare och det är lite svårare. Okej. Det är This is uh, Brian and Karen's just married can they put behind the dinghy. It looks like the permanent marker is a rug. <laughs> okay, the engine's off. Now we're powered by snails. Baby, I'm leaning. <laughs> leaning and loving. Uh, she, she looks like one of those maidens, you know? Are you proud of, of your boys and what they're doing out here? Of course. It took me a while to get into it. The first few years, I really didn't get into it. I think when the uh, website evolved and uh, they really got uh, taken off, you know, and I was more corresponding with the boys at that time and the crew. Uh, you know, as it grew, I grew with it too. And now that I'm not working, you know, I really enjoy it now because it's my total focal point. How does it feel to have the whole family on board? It's really special to be able to share something that we love so much with them and have them out, you know? Cool. It's always so cool showing other people sailing. like. Donna, my stepmom, is sitting up at the bow, and Karen's mom is driving, and you can just feel like the excitement in them. So, I see uh, in my future maybe either teaching people to sail or taking people sailing that have never done it before, just to pump me up, you know? I'm feeling like I'm flying. I am flying. Flying on the waves. Whoa. Stepped up to the pump for the turn off. Yeah. Stepped up to the pump. Yeah. <laughs> How do there you go. Watch the clouds with the sail. Don't worry about the gauges. Okay. There you go. Hey. <laughs> I love it. It tastes like a Look at that sail. Look at that ocean. Look at the sun. Woo. All you need to do now, Marta, is just yes. turn, just turn to starboard. Yep, right. And we'll tell you when to straighten the wheel. You can go ahead and start turning now, but you have to sell, say, ready to jibe? Ready to jibe! Ready! ready. Jibing! Ready. Jibing! Then you turn the wheel. We be jibing. We be jibing. We be jibing. We be jibing. Oh, gosh. There you go. Is Put it some too fast? Into it. Woo! Oh, you're okay. Oh, you're good. You're good. Turning. Keep on going. Keep on going. There you go. She's coming around. Woo! Driving! Driving! Um, wow! Oh, oh. 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 Okay. Nice jive. And and just like that, go back. A little bit. The other way for a little while. Yeah, just a little bit. Ooh. In fact, you can go a little bit more to port even. Do you come in on the main sheet, please? Not to think about here. 
Off a bit more, and then. This is nice. Now she's doing good. I think so. I think everybody did really good. No seasickness. No. We made it. A successful family sailing day. Shit, what a good... Shit. I'm in it now. I'm in the zone. It's gonna be hard getting rid of me. <laughs> but then, just as quick as everyone had arrived, it was time for the family to head back home. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Wow. Yep. <laughs> oh, little stuff, big stuff. See you later, stuff. I love you so much. Love you too. Thank you for everything. We'll see you soon, okay? okay. Hugging the daughter in law. <laughs> nice. Hey, Dad, what is this? What am I, chocolate or weed? It's <laughs> <laughs> spicy. Parents in laws riding together. Yeah. We're pretty lucky they get along pretty good, man. Yeah. I'd say that was a very successful a week, wedding week, huh? huh? What a um, week. I'm exhausted. Oh. Are you exhausted? Kaza got sick. I got a bit of a cold. Yeah. yeah. Constantly planning and entertaining and whew. But how good. special to be able to yeah. show them a little slice of our lifestyle. So cool getting them on the dinghies and take like, them sailing, get nice. them to the beach. So nice. Introduce them to some beer that's not Corona. <laughs> <laughs> they still drink a lot of Corona. Yeah, but still. Aww. We tried. And then we had one more goodbye. Brady and Alex were heading to the mountains, leaving us all to ourselves on Delos for our honeymoon. All right, Blue. See you in a month, dude. We'll see you in a month. Have fun in the cold weather. Thank you. See ya. You have a good time. We'll be chatting with you on the interweb. Yeah. You guys be safe. Enjoy your time alone. Enjoy the empty boat. Yes, and enjoy the snow. Bye, guys. Perfect. Okay, everybody pretend like Brian just said something hilariously funny. Come on, Ragnar. Get up. Aren't you in the fucking army? <laughs> You're the worst. Maybe not that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What's the special snake chest? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I already served them out. Jalapeno poppers, shrimp scooters. Yeah. Yeah. Two for one margaritas, eight for one Mai Tais. <laughs> Cut it there. Cut. Cut it out. Okay, <laughs> hey, go ahead. Push my out there, my crewman. What the? Come on and buy some of our stuff. Buy him a beer. Doesn't he look thirsty? Come on. We got shirts. We got mugs. We got it all. Come aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Business in the front. Party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. <laughs>